Hey YouTube, it is me, Shannon of EtheraCosa.com and welcome back to my channel. As always, love having you guys here. So you read the title of the video. I am doing a beginner friendly smoky eye look. I mean, this is how I've learned how to do my smoky eyes. I am no beauty guru. I am no Jackie Aina or Nima Tang. I just do stuff. <laughs> so I hope you guys find this to be helpful and informative. You guys always ask me for makeup tutorials, so here I am. I definitely do try to give you guys what you ask for. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me so, 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 so much. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I am Shayna. I do a lot of different things here on my channel. I do some hair, some makeup, some travel, some fashion, some inspiration. So you should just go ahead and hit that red button down below because I'm awesome. My subscribers are awesome. I just feel like you should just come on in and join the awesome family. But if you're an oldie, <laughs> but a goodie. <laughs> you know I have nothing but love for you. So please, the both of you hit the bell down below so you are notified every time your girl uploads a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial. So I'm gonna start this look off with the Carity Beauty Long Lasting Anti-Crease Primer. You can use any primer that you have at home or you can use your concealer. I just pat this in and blend it in with my finger and I'm not going to set it with powder, I'm just going to blend it in and leave it as is. Then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean. You do not have to be precise with this, just get it on the lid and leave it there because <laughs> you're gonna blend it out anyway, so don't really worry about being super neat because I wasn't, clearly. Then you're gonna go in with a dense blending brush. This is where you really wanna take your time here. There's no rush, blend out as much as you need to. So I really wanna work the product and basically blend out those little jaggedy ass edges I had going on, right? So take your time and blend as much as you feel like you need to. There's no right or wrong way to do this. <laughs> Keep pulling that product up towards the crease and towards your brow bone. Because I don't have a very large eye area, I try to be very mindful of how far I bring the product up. But the main thing you want is you don't want any harsh lines around the perimeter of this eye look. And then I go in with a clean, a clean, fluffy shader brush and doing the same thing. Like literally you guys do a lot of blending, okay? You're gonna be a born blender by the time you're done with this look, okay? Just blend your little heart away. <laughs> but you really wanna focus on the edge so that there are no harsh edges. That is the main focus here. <laughs> Then you're gonna go in with any black eyeshadow you have. This is from Wet n Wild, the color is Panther. You're gonna go in with a flat shader brush and pack this color on only on the lid because you're gonna blend this out anyway. So I put a lot of color, like this is really pigmented. This Wet n Wild color is really pigmented as you can see and just focus it on the lid. You don't wanna bring this up into the crease because you're gonna blend it out anyway. And then again, go back in with your fluffy shader brush and you're just gonna blend that color out. Because as you can see, there's a harsh line between your lid, your crease, and your brow bone. You don't want that. So take your time again, you guys, and just blend. That's basically all I was doing. Like, I really ain't did nothing else. Yet your girl just was blending her life away in a mirror. <laughs> For the under eye, I took that dense shader brush that we had in the beginning and I pulled all of, there was still product left on it and that's all I put on the bottom lash line. The bottom lash line, because I have small eyes, I don't wanna put too much color. So I just take my time with, with, with whatever product was left over and blended that underneath. Then I went in my Picante palette from Carity Beauty and I took the color Bittersweet and I just buffed out that black color underneath there. So it gives a nice like blended dark brown black color underneath the eyes. And then I went in with, with another shader brush. This is the Morphe M505 shader brush. Again, there's no product on this brush. All it is meant to do is just blend out those harsh edges. If you want to take another color and blend it out, you can, but I didn't. So this, this brush is completely empty. There's no extra added product on it. Now all I'm doing is just literally blending. 
For mascara, I'm going with my favorite right now. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascaras. <laughs> All I'm doing is just putting a light coating on both my top lashes and my bottom lashes. I will be wearing falsies with this look. If you do not wear false lashes, that's okay, because normally I don't, but I was feeling myself when I did this look, so that's what we doing right now. And these are lashes from Kiss. They are called Little Black Dress, and it took me 20 minutes to put these bad boys on, so I did them off camera. <laughs> Once they were on, after four or five different tries, I finally am blending in my natural lashes with the falsies with some mascara. For blush, I'm going back in with the Carity Beauty. Their blush bomb, this color is called, uh, it's from the palette Boomberry, and the color I have is called Exquisite. Um, Carity Beauty has four different uh, blush palettes, and I love this one because it's pink and it's fire. For my lips, I'm using a basic dark brown lip pencil. I don't know what color this is. I know I got it from Walmart. That is all I know. Other than that, I ain't got much for you. Um, so any dark brown lip liner will do. For the lip color, I'm going in with Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. The color is called Rebel Rose. I love this color. It is a beautiful neutral pink color. And paired with that brown color, it's fire. I went back into my blush palette and picked up that highlight color. It's called Butte, and that is on my cheeks. So there you have it, you guys. That was my smoky eye and neutral lip look. Please let me know what you thought about this look in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so already. I love this look. It is very easy to achieve. I wear it all of this time, especially if I don't know what I'm going to do with the eye look. And I definitely think you guys can achieve it as well. If you like more eye makeup tutorials, please let me know. I'll try to get those videos up for you as usual. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. You guys, deuces.